we're gonna start the, or the uh, mushrooms. No, the we're mushrooms. gonna start the yeah. mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. So again, garlic and shallot, incredible mushrooms. I'm just gonna tear them a little bit. The garlic reminds me of scene from Goodfellas where he slices it totally. so thin it you know dissolves in the pan. Absolutely. Again. So the base is actually the same, pretty it's much. Actually, yeah. Lots of olive oil. And then we just pop that in the oven, get those mushrooms roasting. How hot do these guys get? We like to keep the one on the right, which is primarily for pizzas, at about 900, and this one over here at about 700. And that's where we would normally do a lot of this saute work. This needs to be real hot, because it has to happen really fast. You gotta fast. do it quick. Wow. Yeah. That's hot as hell. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Just a couple of ciabatta toasts that we make up to uh, help soak up all this great sauce we're gonna make with the mushrooms right yeah. now. Beautiful. See how they roast it up really nice. You really, you don't, you don't need to do much but warm these. You just want to warm them through. They have such an incredible texture. Now we're just going to hit it with a little wine, fresh thyme, tiny bit of chili flake, and just a little bit of butter. Maybe more than a little <laughs> bit. Gorgeous. Perfect. Oh um, God, those smell. If you could be here. So lemon juice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That is the stuff. And then just kind of gently. Oh, just right on top of the bread. Right on top. And a lot of that sauce up. will soak into that. And I think that's about as nice a thing you can do to a chanterelle. Time to try? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. I don't know, those te the texture of those mushrooms is, yeah. is sick. Yeah. Just absolutely the, gangster. Enough acid in the sauce to, to kind of cut through, but not so much that you're gonna overpower anything. Bold flavors with like the garlic. Look at the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> it's thin enough that it's not like, it, there's no spice to it anymore. Like when it's raw, it, it just melts. You got the bread soaking up everything on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Those savory earthy notes that you get with the Pinot Noir go great with the earthy mushrooms. And the high acid Pinot Noir cuts right through that butter. Thank you so much. Adam.